Hello, this is Carol Lemke from BC Gurus, and this is part four of the module series. In this video, we will focus on the news module. The news module is a module that lets you display links to news items and announcements on your site. Each of these news items will have a link to its own page where you can share more details of the news item if needed. We'll be jumping into BC and going through the news module, so a basic intro to what we will be covering. First, we will cover how to create a news item. Then we will cover how to customize the appearance of the news module. There is a list and details view. And then we will cover how to insert news onto your website. So let's start with how to create a news item. In the back end of your site, navigate to modules and news. Here you will see a list of any existing new items you have and you will also be able to filter. You can view all enabled news items or view all disabled news items or just view all. There's also an alphabetical filter on top. To add a news item click the add news button. On the next screen you will fill in the details of the news item, the subject or the name of the news or announcement, the event date from, the event date to, and you'll also notice that there is a URL that appears right here. The name of the subject gets filled in right here, and if you would like to, you can choose to edit that URL path. If we open up more options, we can choose what template to apply the details page to, choose whether to enable or disable the news event, Choose what role is responsible, so who will be notified when the event is set to expire. And then you can set the release date or expiration date. Below that is where you would fill in the description of the news item. When you're all done, hit save. BC will also let you edit the URL prefix for the news. You can click the button and a pop-up will appear where you can edit the path. When you're all done, hit save. You are able to customize the appearance of the news module. There are two layout views available, the list view and the details view. To find the module template, go to Site Manager, Module Templates, News Layouts. The list view is what will appear when you output a list of all news items. The details view, if you decide to use it, is what will appear if the user wanted more details of that event. This is most likely where the description of the news item would live. Be sure to explore the tag insert list. Here you can add different items like a button to learn more information which will link to the details view, the event from and to date, and the subject of the event, so the news name. So be sure to explore all of these while editing the list view and the details view. When you are ready to insert news, there are two ways of doing so. The first way is by using the module manager. You can use the module manager to insert items onto a page, into a template, into a web app item, into a module layout, into a content holder, and more. It just depends on how your site is set up. When using the module manager, you can navigate to news and then choose to display the news as a list or in a calendar format. Depending on what one you choose, you can then select the display criteria. You can choose to show the individual news item, all items, all items in a category classification, latest items, and individual random item. Depending on what you choose, you can then choose from the following criteria that will appear. So for the individual item, you would choose what individual item to insert. If you click Customize, you can choose to display the item with no template. You can also choose an effect, normal being if you click on the name, it will go to the details page, Ajax being if you click on the name, the description, what would be on the details page will appear below using Ajax, and you can set a target frame. When you're all done, click Insert and Update. The second way to insert news is to use the custom links drop down. Navigate to announcements, another name for news, and select the item you would like to insert. When you're done, click update. If we preview this page, 
we can see the first news item which was inserted with the module manager and when we click on the item name we can see the description rather the details view appear below and this other one is the name of the event inserted with the custom links and if we click that that will take us to the details page of that news item